Hey guys and welcome to the channel. I'm just approaching the end of my third year here at Cambridge and looking back I have realised quite a common theme. A lot of the notes that we're handed as students here at university are in PDF form. Not only notes actually, newsletters, official forms that we need to sign and fill in, everything is in PDF and I'm sure many of you agree that PDFs are some of the most awkward and trickiest files to edit. Most of the time, if I need to fill in a PDF form, I just print it out, fill it in by hand, scan it in and send it off again. A very long process. Recently having bought an iPad, yes, it is a bit easier. I can use Notability and with Notability I can edit the PDF and write with my Apple Pencil. But this thing's like nearly a thousand pounds and so I'd say it's quite an impractical way of solving the issue of using and editing PDFs. Now on most of our computers, let's say Windows, we have the free version of Acrobat PDF Reader and on the Mac we have Pages but also the preview application. So recently I came across a fantastic bit of software called PDF Element 7. What it is, is technically a software package that can allow you to extremely easily edit PDFs. Now as a student when I heard about this, when I heard that using a bit of software you can edit any bit of text on any PDF with extreme ease on your computer within a few seconds, I was very skeptical until I gave it a go. And honestly, it's blown my mind away. Of course, when I'm studying lecture notes or filling in worksheets, like I said, I often have to print them out and make notes on them. And it's even more frustrating when there are mistakes already in the PDF. I can't edit them. With PDF Element 7, it's extremely easy. You simply open the PDF in the software package and literally every bit of text is then in a text box which you can easily edit. When you make these edits, the font doesn't change, the size doesn't change. It looks as if pretty much nothing has been touched, except you know that you've corrected any mistakes that were in that PDF. Now I do want to say, PDF Element 7 did give me a trial to sort of test out and work on to see if I liked it or not. I was extremely impressed with the different options that, you know, that are available. From being able to edit multiple PDFs at once, to being able to annotate PDFs, to being able to very easily create text boxes in addition to what's already there. I think it's a very fluid and flexible bit of software. Now comparing this to let's say Acrobat PDF Reader, again, which for the full version you have to pay some money, I think PDF Element 7, it's far more fluid, it's more modern, and actually the layout is very familiar to other applications such as Microsoft Word or Excel. So getting used to it is no problem. I think for me, the biggest selling factor for maybe justifying purchasing this would be the affordability and the convenience this sort of software provides for me as a student. And for many of you as well, you'll be creating brochures for Freshers Week, you'll be making PDFs to sort of uh, circulate your medical journals or whatnot. And having this bit of really cool software without spending you know, something as expensive as a thousand pounds on an iPad, I think is a fantastic deal. But I do want to say, another alternative to maybe buying an iPad or this sort of software is actually a sort of drawing tablet. So I've got, it's not on me now, but I've got this Wacom tablet. And before I bought this iPad, um, that's what I practically used. Now a Wacom tablet, what it does is, it is like a, just a trackpad with a pen that you plug into your computer. And I've got a Mac and it works fantastically well. And you can sort of use it as a mouse, but also you can use it to write and annotate and notes, uh, for example, using Notability or even uh, PDF Element. Now that was only around 120 pounds. So compared to this, far more affordable. And also, if you think about how often you use it in lectures um, to make annotations on online PDFs of notes, I think it's a fantastic and worthwhile investment. So in summary, I think this video was just about me sharing a few ideas from experiences I've had on how we all can increase the throughput um, of how we deal with PDFs. PDFs are some of the most irritating files possible because of how hard it is to edit them. But with solutions like this, with an iPad or PDF Element 7, or even um, using a Wacom tablet, you've got so many options now. Hopefully that was useful, and if you did find it useful, please do comment down below. As always, thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you soon in the next video.